Hello there and welcome to another restoration video. In this video I will be restoring an old abandoned laptop, the Lenovo ThinkPad L540. So here it goes. Looking at the state of the machine, it seems that the user had a beef with the keyboard and did not really care about the machine at all. It is quite dusty and grimy and also it has been completely robbed off of its internals. We have no clue why the user had to discard the and rob the machine. Maybe it doesn't work? Well that's what I thought at first, but let's find out. As with all IBM PCs, it is very easy to pop the hood of the system and look at what is inside. Just removing a few cross header screws gives us complete access. As you can see there are no hard drives or RAM modules installed in the system. Which leads me to believe that, that there could be some issue with this laptop and that is why the owner just uh, pulled off the RAM modules and the hard drive and just discarded this laptop. As the keyboard was old and was missing a key, I just decided to replace the entire keyboard panel. To replace these keyboards is very simple, you just need to remove some screws and the entire panel will lift up. After lifting the keyboard, we can see that the insides of the system is pretty clean, except for the fan area, which leads me to believe that we don't need to really disassemble the entire system to clean it. I also decided to replace the Core i3 processor in the system with a Core i7 processor, the 4800MQ. Taking out the heatsink and the fan assembly, we can see that it is really full of dust. Removing and replacing the processor was like a walk in the park. I used some isopropyl alcohol to clean the heatsink and a good uh, brush to clean the fans. I used Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut as the thermal paste on the processor. I even installed the spare 128GB SSD on the system. As for the RAM, I got myself a stick of 8GB of DDR3 RAM by Transcend. After this, I started cleaning the palm rest and the top part of the system. I used a wet napkin to dig deep and clean the system thoroughly. The marks on the LCD bezel were really stubborn and difficult to clean, but I tried my best. Installing the keyboard was a straightforward job. Once the hardware was ready, I installed K Ubuntu Linux and made this my Linux machine. 
I will use this machine to compile kernels for the Raspberry Pi or the Odroid and I can also use this machine to compile apps for the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 3 systems, you know, homebrew apps. So it's really nice and useful. The best part of the system is that all the drivers and everything got installed successfully and there were no conflicts and no issues. All in all I can say that this was a perfect restoration because the Linux system runs absolutely fine and smoothly on the 4800MQ processor and also the battery lasts for about 4 hours which is quite impressive. And, um, so far I have not seen any issues with the system, I don't know why the person abandoned this laptop as junk but this is a perfectly fine working laptop. There is no thermal throttling happening on the processor side and the quad core system runs like a charm. There are absolutely no weird stalls or hiccups while opening apps on this machine and it responds really well. There was only one last thing remaining to do on the system and that was to install the Core i7 decal sticker. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel if you like my content and want to see more. Thank you and have a nice day.